What is up YouTube and welcome back to the channel of Absolute Rebuilds. Guys, in our last video, we test fitted the rear bumper, the tail lights, and the trunk lid. And unfortunately, we didn't have all mechanical parts, but luckily, we got some parts in now. We got a brand new aluminium control arm for the rear. We got a brand new wishbone for the front. We got the shark fin from the side for the fender. So we're now at the front of the car and I don't know if you saw our previous video but we had a little bit of a struggle with the tie rods. Uh, we got some new tie rods which were, which were 14 millimeters and our old tie rod here was 12 millimeters. So we first thought we got the wrong tie, rod, tie rods but apparently this complete control arm is from the previous Jaguar. It's from the pre-face lift or from the 4.2 liters well, we have the after facelift from 2010 with the 5 liter V8. So then the question rose, how come we have the complete wrong arm? And this is what we found on the internet. Is it too good to be true? I want this so much, but don't know if I can trust you. My mind's racing fast, trying to find the red flags I'm used to. So we now know that this poor Jaguar suffered a major crash and we now know also why we needed to change the subframe. Well guys, if you are planning to buy a car online, make sure you buy it at a correct auction, let's say, and don't get fooled around. It doesn't matter for us, we're going to rebuild this beauty anyway into her former glory. With that being said guys, we will start with the parts at the rear. This part in the front is not in yet, but fingers crossed it will come tomorrow. So what happened is that I forgot to turn off the lights of the Jaguar. So what happened was that the batteries was completely drained and unfortunately we don't have the safety key. So what you want to do is in the center panel in the rear of the car, there's a complete panel and there you can hook up your ground and also your positive, uh, you can hook it onto a spare battery or a spare car and that allows you to open up the trunk so you can get at the big battery in the back. We're back at the back again. First we're going to change out the steering linkage from the back and also the stabilizer bar. Then we'll put on the brand new control arm and then as last the hub. Okay guys, so we struggled for almost three hours to get this hub off because apparently this hub was different in size than the bushing which is in the control arm here. So we needed to custom make this gap of the hub bigger.
Okay guys, so we are a few days down the road and unfortunately we have not received the correct arm yet with the correct tie rod size. Due to some problems with our post order, it turns out that the post surfaces return the item to the center to the sender. So our arm is on its way back again to Italy. So we need to figure that out. Fingers crossed, hopefully we can get the arm here as soon as possible, guys. Okay, guys, it turns out that we are also missing some parts for the other side as well, which means that this is the end of this video. Hopefully in our next video, we can install the new hub arm. If she arrives in time, you never know. We are also going to install the side skirt, put on the tires and maybe Go for a little test drive as well. With that being said guys, if you like our videos, make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below. Also make sure that your post notifications are on as well. Thank you for all the love and support and thank you for your patience. And hopefully see you guys in our next video. Hope they won't shoot me down soon.